Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you to the Voice of the Prophet YouTube channel. My name is Prophet Janelle, and if this is your first time coming on, I want to welcome you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back with us again. And so if you look at the title, you know what we're going to be talking about on today. And so on last year, uh, the Lord began to speak to me about the transfer of wealth and what that meant for the church and how he was going to position us to be a greater influence in the earth and how he was going to help us maintain that which he had called us to do to be his hand and feet in the earth and so if you would like to go back and look at that video that is there as well but on today we're going to be talking about something very different and that's the transfer of power and so with that the Lord began to speak to me a while ago about um, there is a book in the book of Isaiah chapter 58 how he talked about uh, re um, re rebuilding back those breaches and there are some things that the Lord began to speak concerning that the things that he wanted us to do in the earth and a lot of time Christians think that you know we are meant to be a part of the four walls and our aspirations should be of that of just you know working in ministry um a part of the fivefold ministry and any of those things that are in the church but the lord began to speak to me about how he wanted us to be influential not only in the church aspect but also in the world and so he began to talk to me and speak to me about some seats that he has already predestinated and assigned for his his people to hold and so we see where there has been a lot of things that have happened over the last year um, and not only in the United States of America but throughout the world um, how the Lord has really begun to uproot something and change some things and now he's speaking about the transfer of power and I want to read to you this scripture and it's from Psalms verse 75 Psalms chapter 75 verse 10 and it says this for God says I will break the strength of the wicked but I will increase the power of the godly I'm gonna read that again he says I will break the strength of the wicked but I will increase the power of the godly. And so we know that the earth is, is the Lord's. Everything belongs to him. Everything is his. And so a lot of people don't believe that God engages in the affairs of man, but he absolutely does because he's sovereign, because he's supreme. His will is also always going to be carried out. And so the Lord's will is going to be done concerning not only the United States of America, but for the earth. And I want to read this scripture. It talks from Daniel 2 verse 20. It says this, he said, Praise the name of God forever and ever, for he has all wisdom and power. He controls the course of world events. God very much is involved in the things that are happening in the earth now. It says this, he removed kings and sets up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to to the scholars. So the Lord began to speak to me. He said, there's going to be a transfer of power. There is going to be some people that you've seen reigning in different levels of seats, different um, levels of authority and power. Um, he says that he's going to begin to move some out. He's going to begin to uproot some. He's going to put in others. And so this is the Lord's doing. It is his will. It doesn't matter who is reigning, how much, how long they've been there, how much power and influence they have. God says he is the one who is going to decrease remove, um, exchange that power, not only of wealth, but of power. He's going to take away the power of the wicked. He's going to give it to the godly. And so I want to encourage you on today. If you're listening, continue to pray. If you have those that are in seats in your council, in your, go um, in your government, whatever level it may be, you know, I <laughs> there's so many levels of powers, you know, not only um not only just you know the higher seats which are the prime ministers and you know the presidents and things of that nature but there's also some people that reign in your districts people that reign in your in your um in your cities people that reign over your school board i will continue to pray that god will increase the power of the godly in those seats and don't be dismayed when you see certain things happening for god is truly going to overturn it and i would even like to encourage you not only to pray but if you're listening to this video and you are the one that God has been speaking to you about concerning these seats and going um, and to pursue these seats, I would encourage you to do so. It's God that placed that, that, that thing on your heart. It is God who's moving on your heart to do so. Why? Because he wants the godly to sit in these seats because of the godly are sitting in these seats. That which has been influenced, he we will have more access. We will have more of a voice and that's what God is wanting. He wants to increase the power of the godly. God is going to tear down demonic forces that 
have been set up, principalities, rulers of darkness, powers that have been set up by the enemy, people who have been sitting in these seats that were not of him. He wants us to be able to legislate, not only in the spiritual realm through prayer, but he wants us to legislate in the natural through passing of righteous laws and judgments in the earth. So people of God, be encouraged. The transfer of power is coming. God is going to take one down and he is going to put up another. God is going to tear down the power of one and he is going to establish another. We see it all through our history. It may not look like, um, it may not come the way we think. It may not come in a time in that we think, but God is definitely going to do it. It's his word. We've seen it done in biblical history where God came into and involved himself in the, into the affairs of man, whether it was for our benefit, you know, where it seemed like it was for our benefit or may it would have seen for our demise. God is always the one who is in control. And so be encouraged, beloved, continue to pray, seek God in this matter for his word shall truly come to pass. Have a great day.